Hello students, in trick number 238, I am going to tell you a very very important concept in mensuration and this concept is known as frustum of a cone. Now what is frustum of a cone? Now students when they start with mensuration, they are taught plane figures first and then they come on to solid figures. Now this is one of those figures which is taught at class 10th level and it finds wide applicability in competitive exams. To understand what frustum of a cone is, you need to see, have a look at this first. It involves the use of the word cone. So obviously it has something to do with a cone. Now all of you must be knowing that a cone is actually the shape of a joker's cap or a, the shape of a softy. Now this shape has three dimensions. One is the radius of its base, one is the vertical height and the other is the slant height. Now if you know this concept then we can understand frustum of a cone. Now what you do is, now this is a plane it is also known as the base of this cone. Now what I do is, I will cut this cone at a particular height. Now see, this is the cut which I have made. I have cut this cone from here and upper portion is again a cone, a small cone. Now what I do is, I remove this small cone from the big cone. Now see the shape which is left behind. The shape here is known as frustum of a cone. Now this shape is the shape of a glass, shape of a bucket. If you keep it inverted, it will become a, the exact shape of a bucket. Now you see here in this figure we again have a plane surface here on the top like we have one plane surface at the base also. So after having understood what is the shape of a frustum of a cone we need to know what are the various dimensions of this frustum of a cone. Now in the base you see there is a circle, now this is a circle. And the base above, again it is a circle, so again we have two radii. See this is the larger radii, R, capital R, and this is the small radii, small r. So obviously there are two bases, so there are two radii. If you join the center of the upper circle and the center of the lower circle, then this is the height H of the frustum also called the vertical height or the height of frustum. Then if you see it from outside this part that is known as the slant height of the frustum. So we have four dimensions in a frustum. Small r it is the radius of smaller base. Capital R we have the radius of larger base h is the height of the frustum and l is the slant height of frustum so we have four dimensions of this frustum now how are these four dimensions related if you know three dimensions of this frustum we can calculate the fourth dimension if required in the question. Now this is the formula which relates the four dimensions of a frustum. L square equal to x square plus r minus r whole square. Now in this question you need to remember that in the second bracket in the second term we have a bracket containing the difference of the 
टू रेडियाई सो आर माइनस आर होल स्क्वायर नाउ इसी इफ यू नो थ्री डायमेंशन यू कैन कैलकुलेट द फोर्थ डायमेंशन यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला नाउ कमिंग टू द कर्ड सरफेस एरिया कर्ड सर्फेस एरिया और लेटरल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ ए फ्रस्ट ऑफ दैट इज द आउटर एरिया एक्सक्लूडिंग द बेसिस सो इफ यू एक्सक्लूड द टू बेसिस द टू सर्कल्स ऑन टॉप एंड ऑन द बॉटम देन वॉट एवर इज लेफ्ट बिहाइंड इज द कर्ड सर्फेस एरिया सो इन द कर्ड सर्फेस एरिया पाए देन द सम ऑफ द टू रेडिया मल्टीप्लाइड बाई द स्लैंड हाइट ऑफ द फ्रस्ट ऑफ सो पाए आर प्लस आर एल दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर फाइंडिंग द कर्ड सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ द फिगर फ्रस्टम ऑफ ए कोन नाउ कमिंग टू द टोटल सर्फेस एरिया नाउ टोटल सर्फेस एरिया मीन्स वॉट एवर एरिया यू कैन सी इन दिस सॉलिड सो ऑब्वियसली द कर्ड सर्फेस एरिया इज ए पार्ट ऑफ टोटल सर्फेस एरिया सो दिस पाई आर प्लस आर एल विल ऑब्वियसली बी देयर प्लस यू हैव द टू बेसिस so the upper base is a smaller circle and lower base is a larger circle and what is the area of a circle it is pi into square of radius pi r square so you have a pi r square in the base and a pi r square in the upper base so the formula for this you can take pi r plus r l as a separate term and take pi common in this you will get the formula for finding the total surface area of a closed frustum which is closed from up top and bottom now you need to remember one very important thing in this in case of a bucket in case of a bucket or glass tsa will be so pi r plus r n the curved surface area will be there but just visualize the shape of a glass it is smaller at the base and larger at the top so you need to have only the area of the smaller base because it is open at the top and i have used small r here because it is the smaller base so little bit of understanding because these type of formulas are not Uh, remembered they are not crammed up they are just used by understanding of the question which is asked in the examination now come to final formula for the frustum it is the volume now if you remember the volume of a cone so volume of a cone it is given by 1 by 3 pi r square h so if you know this formula you can write this formula also see 1 by 3 pi h now i have removed this r square and in place of that i'll write something else why because in a cone you have only one radius so r square is sufficient but in a frustum you have two radii one is small r and one is capital r so what you do is when you have small r and capital r you may pairs in the first term you take both capital r in the second term you take capital r and small r and in the third term you take both small r so first pair is capital r into capital r that is r square plus second pair is r into r small r into capital r plus third pair is small r into small r so that is small r square so this will give you the formula for finding the volume of the frustum now see volume of cone remember the formula of volume of frustum through this formula similarly other formulas also you can relate with volume of uh, the cone see curved surface area pi r plus r l if you know that the curved surface area of a cone is pi r l then you can relate these two formulas also because here we have only single r here we have two r's so they are added together so this is the way we remember the frustum of a cone and if you have basic understanding of this very important concept you can solve a number of problems related to this important concept
so keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it